Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at 12 Acre Academy with our little friends, the alpacas. We got the Terminator here. We got Bootsy and Gabby here. And you're going to find out all about the different alpacas that are around and a lot of other information. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot that info down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, we are at 12 Acre Academy in Mount Pleasant where um, they breed and board alpacas and dairy goats. Now the farm is owned and operated by Derek and Loretta Laughlin and they have a passion for their farm and are eager to share the farm experience with others. Alpacas are considerably smaller than llamas and they are bred specifically for their fiber. Now alpaca fiber is used for making knitted and woven items. Alpaca fleece is a lustrous and silky natural fiber. While it's similar to sheep's wool, it's warmer, not scratchy, and it has no lanolin, which makes it hyperallergenic. Now 12, 12 Acre Academy offers tours and classes for individuals or groups um, where participants can feed and walk the alpacas, milk a goat, and help shear and process the fiber from the alpaca's coats. The farm also offers a farm store where you can purchase garments made from alpaca fiber, as well as goat milk soap and raw fiber for spinning, felting, or fiber arts. 12 Acre Academy is located at 401 Dutch Road in Mount Pleasant. For more information, just call the farm at 704-436-8855 or log on to http 12 acrewebscom now, the Carolina Alpaca breeders and owners are going to hold this year's show at the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center, and that's going to be this weekend. Now, visitors at the Carolina Alpaca Celebration will get a close-up look and kind of learn all about these kind of lovable little, I mean, these things are very cute. <laughs> they look are. at their softest <laughs> they are fiber soft. in the world there. <laughs> now, watch a halter show, and that's where the animals will strut their stuff, and they'll be kind of judged kind of in a formal show ring. You can visit vendors uh, showcasing everything from hats and scarves and other items that are made from alpaca fiber. Attend one of the many educational seminars such as Alpaca 101 and fiber demonstrations. And there are also going to be a coloring contest, treasure hunt, gift basket drawings, and a charity sign on auction. All, all that at the show. Now the show is Saturday, February the 19th from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. And Sunday, February the 20th from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Admission is free. For details, just log on to KabirisArena.com and you can kind of visit with these little, I mean, they're these cutest they things, are. aren't they? They are. They're very <laughs> cute, very gentle animals. Well, One Book, One Community, Cabarrus Reads is going to be hosting a discussion on Tim O'Brien's Vietnam theme book called The Things They Carry. That discussion is going to be on Monday, February 28th at 7 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall at Rocky River Presbyterian Church in Concord. Now, the discussion will be led by Mike Stubbs and other members of the Wounded Warriors, Chapter 34 of the Military Order of the Purple Heart. One Book, One Community is an initiative through the Cabarrus County Public Library to bring together diverse individuals to share an experience together, the experience of reading the same novel. The collective experience not only encourages literacy, it also encourages dialogue and the expression of thought and ideas among individuals who may not otherwise have found a connection. Now you can find copies of the book, The Things They Carried, at any branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. For more information about this event, call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or pick up a brochure at your local library. Now, you won't have to kind of beg your children to do homework if you go to the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library because they've got a brand new homework area and you kind of come in and check it out. You have, they're going to have a complete scavenger hunt. They're going to, you know, win prizes. Mm -hmm. Homework has never been like this, never <laughs> been this much fun. So just come on out. The hunt is Monday, February 21st through Thursday, February the 24th from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. daily. It's open to children grades second through fifth. No registration is needed. For more details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library and come experience homework like you've never experienced okay. before. <laughs> Well, if you are ready to save some money, and who isn't these days, <laughs> really? right? Um, you might want to join the Coupon Clippers Club every Thursday at 4.30 p.m. at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library, where members will mm -hmm. share tips and bring their own coupons to swap and share. Coupon experts and newbies are welcome. For more details, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library. Now, you're interested in promoting healthy lifestyles and 
kind of make plans to participate in the Live It Up Cabarrus. It's an annual event we have, and it's a whole lot of fun. Now, it encourages kind of healthy living. It also does that through kind of locally produced foods and all kinds of different kind of simple and great exercises and also different things of uh, sustainability, you know, different ways to, mm -hmm. to uh, recycle, compost, all kinds of different things. You'll learn all sorts of different ways. Uh, you'll meet the growers and the producers of the local food. You'll have sample, this is my favorite, that healthy fare. There's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of food from the restaurants that use local foods. And you'll learn backyard gardening techniques, explore fun, inexpensive fitness activities. And there's also a 3K race and fun run, and as well as a mini golf tournament, which is a whole lot of fun. And uh, the 2011 Live It Up Cabarrus Festival will be held on Saturday, April the 2nd, from 2 to 5 p.m. at the barn at Frank List Park in Concord. This event is free and open to the public. Cabarrus County is seeking vendors to provide demonstrations and samples at informational booths at this event. To learn more and to download a vendor or participant application, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash live it up. Great. And that is all about local food, healthy right. living, uh, great opportunity for any organizations, businesses out there um, that have any products or opportunities uh, to kind of get the word out in the community right. about um, their healthy living, um, then please do uh, fill out an application so that you can be a part of that as well. It's a great, actually it's a great time because there's a lot of other things going on at the park oh, that yes, day. Yes, it is. There's, there's going to be a crowd out yes. there. So. <laughs> well, come out to the park on Saturday, February 26th at 10 a.m. to learn how you can begin a recycling and composting program that can benefit your garden, your plants, and the environment for many years to come. From Garbage to Garden is a class that will show you how. The class cost is $5 per person. Pre-registration is required by February 22nd. To register, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner and type the word garbage in the class search box. For more information, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Now, can you identify the presence of animals by their footsteps? You know, kind of like... Hmm. Pretend you're Davy Crockett, you know, <laughs> tracking them all down. Well, come on out to the North Cabarrus Park and you can learn how to do that. The tracks class will be held at 10 a.m. on Saturday, February 26th, and that's at North Cabarrus Park. And the class is open to ages five years and older. Cost is $2 per person to participate. Now, hot chocolate will be provided, so hey, that's mm. worth the price of admission right there. Pre-registration is required by February 23rd. To register, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type the word tracks in the class search box. For more information, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Well, another great opportunity for businesses and organizations out there for sponsorship, this time for older adults. The um, annual Senior Health and Wellness Day is coming to Cabarrus Arena and Event Center on Wednesday, March the 9th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. And it's going to be a fair, all related to fun and health related exhibits um, for the older adult population. Um, which, by the way, has some of the most disposable income um, out there. Now, admission and parking is free for this event. Older adults can participate in free health screenings, receive prescription drug assistance, learn about health care options, and enjoy music and leisure activity demonstrations. A free lunch will be served. The Senior Health and Wellness Day is presented by Cabarrus County Department of Aging and CMC Northeast, and it allows older adults and their caregivers to learn more about aging services and to discover ways to be more active. The event focuses on cardiovascular health, medication management and wellness, and includes screenings for cholesterol, glucose, stroke, blood pressure, dental, vision, and much more. Sponsors are still needed to make Senior Health and Wellness Day a success, so if your business caters to the older adult market and you're interested in meeting more than 1,000 potential customers, then just contact Cabarrus County Senior Center at 704-920-3484. For more details about the Senior Health and Wellness Day, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash aging. Now, the brand new Opry Bluegrass Show is going to return to the Davis Theater, and that's in the historic uh, Cabarrus County Courthouse, and that's going to be on Thursday, February the 17th, beginning about 7.30 p.m. In response to several requests, the brand new Oprah, uh, Oprah, <laughs> no, Oprah's not going to be there, I'm sorry, it's going to be the brand new Opry host, Jeff Whittington, is going to start off the show by playing some kind of classic country songs and a few little surprises on his electric Hawaiian pedal steel guitar. Oh, I love the sound like of those. 
Now the show will feature uh, guest artist Dewey Farmer, and he's of Kannapolis, on guitar, mandolin, and vocals. Other performers will be Tom Eisenhower on guitar, mandolin, and uh, vocals, and Pete Quorum on bass and vocals. Now tickets are $10 and available online at CabarrasArtsCouncil.org, 24 hours a day, and at the Davis Theater box office Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. or just call 704-920-2753. For more information, just call the Cabarrus Arts Council at 704-920-2787 or visit CabarrusArtsCouncil.org. That is a great show. I mean, I, I love the steel guitar. I mean, it sounds great. There is a lot of really fun things going on um, this week in Cabarrus County. If you missed anything we talked about in the show, you can always uh, just go to our website, CabarrusKind.us, go to the A to Z index or the search box there, uh, type in what you're looking for, but if you still need some information, you can always drop us a line at channel 22 at CabarrusKind.us. Of course, one of the best ways to find out about all the things we talk about on Cabarrus this week is to sign up for our email newsletter. You can do that by going to the website, CabarrusKind.us. Click the join our mailing list link at the top left mm -hmm. of any page. Um, then you'll start getting um, email mm -hmm. every week, actually usually right before the show comes right. on the air. So you'll be the first to know <laughs> um, all the things going on this week so you can kind of plan mm -hmm. your week ahead. And if you don't, if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, you can just watch us on demand. Just go to CabarrasCounty.us right there on the home page. You'll see the video screen. Right below it is an icon for Channel 22 or YouTube. And click on either one of those. You can find out all the programming we do. You can see Cabiris this week, the commissioners' meetings. Also, we have a great new show that's on the air called Simply Local, and it talks about uh, buying local foods and kind of interesting ways to. to this one is going to be on roasting. Mm. And if you've never seen it, Pam Uten and uh, David Goforth are two of our contributors on the show. They're together. And I tell you what, that's worth watching right there. I mean, they have a good time doing it and a lot of great information. So, uh, and I tell you, this has been so much fun. I love coming out here. It is They're fun. like the kindest animals. <laughs> They're so gentle, my goodness. So, uh, but uh, if you have a chance, come on on out here to Twelve Acres Academy and uh, visit with the alpacas and, and definitely check out the show because all kinds of great things going on this weekend. There is. Have a great weekend.